warning will spread like, well, <laughs> so the hardest part of snow maps to me, uh, the two snow maps, is twofold. One, all the trees and the ledges, a lot of spots for assassins to leap from that you don't see until it's too late. And two, it's hard to see the assassin with his white coat and stuff. He's, he's like, more hidden than usual. So yeah, you can use Bolt to get a lot of kills, but I actually don't think it improves your pace very much as a true solo player. As a party, it does because it stops your teammates that aren't as good at killing things from chasing individual kills. Black rat. The wind's ten against me. I'm out of practice, obviously. In other words, what I'm trying to say is the fact that you can get a lot of kills with the weapon in the pub doesn't mean that it's actually a very efficient weapon at killing things. It means it's very... it's good at competing for kills. They're not necessarily the same thing. So a ranged weapon is always going to... that can that can pick off. A ranged paced weapon is always going to be really good in pubs at, at getting a high kill count because you can just kill it before your teammates can get to it. Like, okay, great. But if they got there first, right? Or <laughs> just because someone's range killing things doesn't necessarily mean that the the party is moving faster than it would have otherwise. Does double back? Down this way, there, black rat. Huh, it was double. Trigger. This could be the old trading post. Abandoned. Fine. We're gonna go right here. I made a steady decision to not vent. There must be a lever somewhere. There are two schools of thoughts these days, here and here. I think I still prefer the old school. But I haven't really, because I don't like playing in vertical. It's hard to minimize damage taken on um, the little hills. There's a fireball waiting for the next rat that shows its muzzle. Really? What? See, that little vertical screwed me up. Very lucky, very few stormies, aka zero, as few as possible. 
the difficulty of this event, much like the difficulty of the finale of Horn, um, varies with how many storms you get. That's why we say here. Either here or here. No. Blessings of Charia. Look out for Sassy. Weird stone apparatus. Really? It's needed. Pain. Too much magic. That's okay. We'll go ahead and bust out. It's a double. No, it's not. Okay, we're fine. I'm just gonna shake aggro. Okay, maybe we'll kill him. Ah, oh, those furry bastards. I thought I heard a pack, but I'm moving wrong. So because it's so vertical right there, I couldn't hit them both with my first swing, so I had to be very defensive. See, I couldn't see him coming out of the woods. That's the danger of the ledge. Get down, Skaven gun. Where, where, where? Oh, that gun won't shoot again. I did that because I knew I could finish those before they got here, and I was hoping to pull these too, so I could kill them all in a nice safe spot. What? I can't wait. You're the sacrat. Thieves for magic tomes. That was annoying. The first bomb we've seen this whole map, I think. See, if there's a hook rat. Look to the shadows. If you see beady eyes in them, just fire. <laughs> Okay, we went to the wall. No reason to fight. We're so vertical. One tap, one tap, one tap. I was worried if that would happen. I think we just start the event. Okay, well that's not good. I 
sniper okay here. Not very efficient. Move. I'd have to practice way. that more again. I'm assuming you can get a full charge bolt off per cycle on normal flat terrain. I just didn't really want to risk it. When they come, leave some for me. Healing draft here. So yeah, some of it is because the rats seem to have a weird vertical reach. But I think the bigger problem is your sword doesn't swing it's the way you're here. used to, right? You're used to the sword. If you have a rat here, 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 you used to be able to control it if you swing your mouse the right way. But it's not always the case when it's vertical. Because they can, like, rats that you think are going to be hit won't be hit. And then you can just take a huge sum of damage out of nowhere. Let's do it. I didn't mean to, but... Huh, is it glitched right there? Weird. I didn't mean to give up the top. I meant to stay up. Handguns. If this thing takes so long to load up. Couldn't get enough oomph in to take the storm vermin. Nice HOD Brock. Well, give me this at least. I didn't surrender voluntarily the high ground. I was forced off the high ground.
wasn't crazy. I did hear a gas rat. Oh, they're here, all right. Probably watching us. Come on, Beacon! Fight for Sienna! Gas rat's dead. I think my uh, true flight skills are diminishing. I say anything about True Flight and Vermintide 2? No. Hey, Cones, now how you doing, man? Well, a uh, good time to pop in then, right? Hey, Campy, how you doing? What's going on, Amster? Can I confirm that there are weapons in Vermintide 2? There are, in fact, weapons in Vermintide 2. I can confirm many of the weapons in Vermintide 2. I can confirm every single weapon that they've already confirmed. Because <laughs> that's what my NDA says. Basically, I can't be the first one to say anything. That's the rule. However, I have elaborated on that to say, like, I, I think I've said most of the things I can say already. Anywho, um, so what can I say about Bolt? Honestly, for for true solo purposes, I don't think it has a lot of advantages over a handgun at ideal levels of play. However, when you're learning to play, one of the things you don't want to have to do is spend a whole bunch of focus on precise aiming, which requires, you know, again, a whole bunch of focus. That's why there's whole games based around precise aiming. <clears throat> Counter-Strike, right? So the really sweet thing with Bolt in True Flight is it can eliminate the two hardest threats in the game, right? Packmaster and Assassin, without too much focus. All you have to do is kind of know where they are, dodge to give yourself a hole, dead Assassin. That's it. Flick in his area, flick over him, paint, and let go. And he's done. So it's sick, right? I think it's a great way to learn how to play because it forces you to learn how to melee when you need to melee and to range and make space for your range when it's appropriate. Whereas using a weapon like Beamstaff or Hagbane, which is what I learned with, gives you a whole bunch of practice with Hagbane, but the way you play Hagbane is rather different than how you play most other combos. And I think it's like a bit of a crutch. So it's not a horrible place to start, but I think that True Flight One-Handed Sword or One-Handed Sword be a uh, Bolt, especially with Earthing Bolt instead of KB Bolt, um, are really good weapons to learn on. I also think One-Handed Sword Handgun is a great weapon combo to learn on too. 
probably my favorite these days.